in this Tosca session, we are going to talk about the action mode buffer. Now we have briefly spoken about the action mode buffer in our previous session when we were discussing about other uh, action modes like verify, constraint, and uh, also select, right? So what exactly is a buffer? In Tosca, this term buffer is used to refer to values which can be stored temporarily in Tosca Commander, and then they can be used again. So this helps you to store values which you want to verify later in a different test case or in later part of your test cases, right? So it's like a global variable, you can say, in, uh, in terms of programming languages. It acts as a global variable which can store some values and you can use it throughout your test cases, okay? These values can either be static or dynamic. And there are different ways to buffer values in Tosca. One of the ways is the action mode buffer and which uh, we are going to see in this particular demonstration. Also, once you create this buffer values, they are available or stored in settings under the Tosca engine. Right, so if you go to settings engine, you will see there is a folder called buffer. And once you create a buffer, um, or once you buffer any particular value, that particular value will be stored un under this folder, okay? So for creating a buffer, you need a buffer name and then a particular value which will be stored in that particular variable, which is the buffer name, okay? So both will be displayed here under buffer with the name and a value. So we'll see that when after we create a particular buffer value, and then we'll come back to the screen and we'll see that it is stored uh, in this particular folder, okay? So to understand how this action mode buffer works, let's pick up a scenario, okay? So I am on this demo web shop and my particular scenario is once I go into this login and I log in with my email and password, okay? And then I click on login, I come to this page. On this home page, my email is displayed, right? And that tells me that, or that's a verification step telling me that uh, I have logged in successfully, okay? I can either verify this or I can also verify a uh, logout. But for this particular scenario, let's verify that this particular email is displayed here, okay? Now it's a very common scenario. Uh, which you will be probably automating in almost every application where you are logging in and logging out. So to verify your login test case, you will probably need this verification step, right? So let's see how we can use the action mode buffer in order to perform this particular scenario, okay? So what I have done already um, in my Tosca is I have already created a particular module or different modules for performing this particular scenario, okay? So I have got all the modules like logout uh, with username and logout and login where we'll enter all the information for that particular user and the register page, which currently we are not using and the headers where we have got the login link, okay? So we'll be using all these modules to create a test case. And in that test case, we'll also use the action mode buffer, okay? So I have already a folder called action modes. Inside this, I'm going to create another test case and I'm going to name it verify buffer, okay? So this is uh, my test case name. You can name it anything, uh, but let's go ahead with this. And then I'm going to add my test steps. So the first test step is to click on the login link, okay? So for that, I will have to add the headers module, okay? And here I have the login link. So I'm going to click on this and the action mode will be input, okay? Let's rename this. So to click login. And my next module is to enter all the user information like the email password uh, right in the login page so let's add the login 
information here and here we'll be entering the username and password okay and here we'll enter the password and then we'll click on the login link okay so that's our uh, login and then we will do another test step where we will be verifying or we'll be buffering our values okay so for this we'll be using the logout module okay so we have got two controls username and logout we can verify any of them but we'll be going ahead with the username or email okay so first what we are going to do is to buffer this particular username or email right which is present on the application so for this we are going to use the action mode buffer okay so once you select the action mode buffer uh, the value would be entered automatically it will just copy the control name but you can always change it okay so i'm going to use the buffer name as email okay so what's going to happen here uh, once we select action mode buffer it's um, we have to enter a buffer name here which is the email and the value of this particular control okay will be buffered into this particular email buffer name okay so this is like a variable and the value of this control would be stored inside this and let's rename our test steps so so that we can better understand what's going on here so we'll say buffer username okay and then the next step is to verify the username so again we'll add the logout module here and we'll name it verify username and this time around we are going to verify or use the action mode verify okay and here we are going to now call that buffer which we have stored earlier right so we are going to reuse that particular value in this particular step okay so for that uh, again curly braces okay uh, it's a dynamic expression and then you need to type b b means buffer right it shows you the description so returns the value stored in the specified buffer okay and then you have to say bracket and then you have to type the buffer name which you have used earlier right so it is email we already know that so this is our value which it should be verified against okay and then finally what we are going to do is we are going to click on the logout link so again the logout module and this time around we are going to click on the logout link right so that's my whole scenario you can see first i'll click on login i will enter the information required and then log in the user and then i am going to buffer the username which is present on the application and then i'm going to verify that against uh, my actual username okay uh okay and then i'm going to click on the logout link so this is our whole scenario you can see we are using the action mode buffer and the action mode verify in order to buffer a particular value and then use it uh, later to verify uh, that particular value okay so let's go ahead and run this now Okay, so let me click on logout so that we are on the uh, home page. And let's go ahead and run this in Scratchbook. So as you can see, uh, it executed all the steps. Um, it's also present in your results, okay? The two steps which we are interested is in buffer username and verify username. So the buffer username, you can see here, it is saying a buffer with name email has been set to this particular value, okay? So this was the value or the inner text, right? For this particular control, which was stored in this particular email, okay? And then, uh what we did 
we that was our expected value right uh, which we stored in the buffer and then we are actually verifying it with our actual value okay so this is one small example how you can use the action mode buffer it can be used in different scenarios like if you want to verify some table values you buffer those values either in the database or in the web application and then you use those buffer values and verify it against the application or the database right so there are many scenarios where you can use this it's very useful um, whenever you are trying to automate different scenarios okay so the last thing uh, which we want to verify is whether this buffer value was stored um, in the tosca commander okay so i told you that we can see that under settings and under engine so this buffer value with the name email and the username in the value column is added under this buffer okay so this is a temporary uh, kind of variable which can be used in your test cases to perform different steps right we'll look at some of the other action modes like wait on in our coming up session